India has lost more than 50% of its tiger population in the past 5 years. The numbers have come down to 1,411 from 3,642 in 2001 and 2002. Tamil Nadu is the only state where their population has gone up from 60 in 2001-2002 to 76 now. Tigers have suffered due to direct poaching and loss of quality habitat and its prey. The main reason for poaching wild animals is commercial. Animal parts are sold at unbelievably high prices. The skin of one tiger can fetch the seller around rupees 9 lakh. The skin is used in coats, bags and is displayed as rugs. The skull of one tiger can fetch up to rupees 45,000. The skull is proudly displayed as a trophy. The teeth or claws of one tiger can fetch a price of rupees 40,000. They are used in jewelry. Tiger bones are used in medicines, especially Chinese medicines. The project Tiger initiated in 1973 by the government of India established 28 tiger reserves in the country even though the government has banned hunting of wild animals and trading of their parts illegally the activity continues take a minute and think who is responsible for this the government or us conservation There are dedicated scientists and wildlife conservationists who are trying very hard to save the animals from extinction. Animals are often tagged so scientists can track their movements and study them more closely. Smaller animals like birds are tagged with a small ring around the leg. Mammals are fitted with radio collars around the neck. Animals are tranquilized first before they are tagged. Otherwise, they would attack the scientists tagging them. Uncontrolled hunting of wildlife for pleasure, food, fur, skin, horns, bones tusks etc pose a serious threat to the survival of wildlife wildlife is nature's gift to us we must cherish and protect it